Canada judicial system is a scam and misleading the public is the darkest corner of our society based on your description. Here's a summary of the issues regarding Gowling's WLG and their actions as outlined by you. Summary of key points from Affidavit 1. Court approval without scrutiny. Gowlings. WLG applied for and were approved as representatives for Canadian investors without any due questioning or argument from the court. This indicates a potential lack of due process in appointing them as representative counsel. 2. Financial fraud. Under the guise of representing Canadian investors in a class action, Gowling's WLG allegedly took funds from your accounts instead of those of the investors, committing what you view as financial fraud. There were no consequences for these actions. 3. Contempt of court. When you sued Gowling's WLG, they did not respond to the court filings or engage with the legal process which could be seen as contempt of court. Other parties involved did respond, showing a lack of accountability on Gowling's WLG's part. 4. Use of your own funds to defend themselves. You claim that Gowling's WLG used your own money, or possibly proceeds from their criminal actions, to fund their legal defense. This forced you into a position where you had to represent yourself, putting you at a disadvantage. 5. Lack of knowledge about clients. Throughout their eight years of representing investors, Gowling's WLG did not know who their clients were, how much the clients had invested, or where the money was. This raises questions about their competence and diligence as representative counsel. 6. Request for adjournment. When the time was up for them to resolve the case, Gowling's WLG asked for an adjournment, indicating that they realized they had no substantial connection to their clients. This shows a failure to perform their duties effectively over the course of several years. 7. Leaving clients broke and self-represented, Gowling's WLG's actions by allegedly draining funds left you and potentially others financially drained and forced to represent yourselves in legal matters. 8. Conflict of interest. A conflict of interest is suggested due to the relationship between Gowling's WLG partners and the OSC, Ontario Securities Commission Enforcement Team. This could have compromised their ability to represent investors impartially. 9. Double standards and judicial misconduct. You believe the Ontario courts, including the Court of Appeal for Ontario, have displayed a double standard by failing to follow proper procedures and laws. This has led to what you perceive as a miscarriage of justice. Core legal issue. The fundamental problem seems to revolve around Gowling's WLG's failure to act as diligent and proper representatives for the investor class. They failed to inform clients about their role, did not follow through with proper instructions, and misused funds, all while courts failed to enforce checks on these actions. You also argue that the courts ignored proper legal procedures and allowed Gowling's WLG to act without accountability, which violates fundamental principles of justice. Next steps. If you are preparing for legal action or a motion related to this, the following could be considered. Breach of fiduciary duty. Argue that Gowling's WLG breached their fiduciary duty by not properly representing the interests of their clients. Conflict of interest. Highlight the conflict of interest between Gowling's WLG and the OSC, which may have tainted the fairness of their representation. Misuse of funds. Focus on the financial fraud aspect where Gowling's WLG allegedly took funds from your accounts rather than the investors. Request for judicial review. Given the claims of judicial misconduct, consider asking for a review of the court's actions, especially regarding the approval of Gowling's WLG as representative counsel without proper scrutiny. Would you like me to help with drafting a motion based on these points? You could also upload more detailed trial documents for a deeper review if needed. The only way is to make one investor's money to another to benefit